Today I'm building a jig that will allow me to rip a bevel that's greater than 45 degrees. If you want to download the free plan for this jig, the link is in the description. Let's start by building the basic structure and then we'll tune it and talk about how it works. So the jig is basically put together. I've got a few things to do to finish it up and I'll show you those in just a second. I need to rip a 50 degree bevel across a wide piece of stock. And the problem is the table saw and the circular saw will only tilt to 45 degrees. So I need to figure out how to get that extra five degrees. If I put my workpiece against the ramp and push it up, this will cut a 45 degree bevel into the end of this workpiece. So to get my 50 degree bevel, I just tilt the circular saw another five, the 45 plus the five is 50. So there are a couple things I need to finish and a couple of things that I need to tune. Right now this ramp is just sitting in here and I need to tune it up so that when the workpiece is in there, it's actually in fact at a 45 degree angle. I also need to put these guides on and these are gonna help the circular saw make the exact same cut every time. I left the right side of this table a little bit wide so that when everything is set up, that first cut with the circular saw will show us right where the blade's gonna be. So one improvement I need to make to this is the left side of this table. You can see that it is not well supported and it bounces around. I can't have this bouncing around as I'm trying to make a cut. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is take a scrap piece of wood and I'm gonna turn it up on its edge so that it's in a quarter sawn orientation and use that as a brace. And hopefully that will keep that side supported. Before I attach these guides, the first cut I'll likely make is with this guide. Because what I need to do is make sure that the circular saw is perfectly lined up so that it cuts on the edge of the workpiece as it registers with the top. And tuning this is likely going to be a little bit finicky because I need the ramp to be perfectly parallel to the cut of the circular saw and I also need it to be at exactly a 45 degree angle in reference to the tabletop. So that when I make a cut, it's even all the way across the width of the workpiece and it's square to the end of the workpiece. I was able to get this ramp really close to 45 degrees. It was about half a degree off, but I'm okay with that 
given the margin of error in marking the angle and transferring it and measuring it. The most important thing is that the cut is really nice. It goes almost to the very edge of the workpiece, which is great because I can put a piece in there and make a cut and it's still the same length as it was when I put it in there. It's just got a bevel now. Also, the edge is even all the way down, which means that the cut is nice and perpendicular to the ramp. The jig's all finished and tuned up. Now I just need to get my saw to five degrees. Now there's no mark telling me where five degrees is, so I'm gonna have to measure it, make some test cuts, get it all dialed in, and then I can rip a 50 degree bevel in my final work pieces. I wanted to mention that most of the time the cutoff will kick back into the side of the jig. It doesn't cause a problem, but it can be pretty startling at first. Just be careful and try to keep your saw as straight as possible. If you'd like to see more videos like these, consider subscribing. The link to the free plan is down in the description. There's also a free download down there you might find helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.